Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor to encourage you from God's Word. Our speaker for this week is Pastor John Bickle of Branford. Welcome to Day 7 of this week's Bread of Life broadcast. I'm Pastor Bickle from Community Baptist Church in Branford. It's been a pleasure to sit with you here these seven days and share the Word of God with you. I trust that the Lord's used the Word of God in your own heart as we've examined David's heart. He pours it out before the Lord in Psalm 51. Our focus has been verses 16 and 17 as we've considered the value of a broken heart. David says, For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. Sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. We saw the limited value of outward sacrifice and we saw the unlimited value of inward brokenness. Everything that you do for God is of little value without an inward heart of contrition, a humble heart that acknowledges sin and deals with it properly. We saw that a broken heart is one that has been convicted of sin, one that has acknowledged sin, and one that abandons sin. I trust that you've seen uh, very clearly from David's testimony that the broken heart has immense value to God. It's the dust out of which God can form something beautiful. Broken heart is the only soil out of which God can make something grow and flourish. Broken heart is the only clay that God can mold into a fit and useful vessel for his glory. And God's call for you is to approach him with a contrite heart, a broken heart. And when you do, you'll find not an angry father, not a judgmental father, but you'll find a merciful father, loving father, ready to bind that broken heart, ready to heal it, ready to save it. Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 1, the prophet previews the ministry of Jesus And he says, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. And Jesus, of course, repeats this prophecy. And he relates it directly to himself. The message to you and to me is that Jesus is ready to take the broken heart and to mend it, and to heal it, and to remake it for his glory. In Psalm 147, verse 3, we have this promise, He healeth the broken in heart, and bindeth up their wounds. What a precious promise. What a glorious thing that we can take, we can hang on to, with a humble heart, and with faith, Psalm 34 and verse 18, another promise of God. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Oh, how precious our God is to come in behind a broken heart that confesses and acknowledges sin, a heart that seeks to abandon sin, and with his grace and with his healing, to make us new, to create in us, as David asked of God, a clean heart, a renewed and a right spirit. You know, you're only as useful to God as you are broken before God. We throw away things around the house that are broken because they're useless to us. They're of no value. You know, God is looking for broken things, not to throw away, not to dispose of, but to repair, to renew, to rescue, so they can be used once again for his glory. And wherever you're at in your heart and in your life, whatever sin has damaged in you, however sin has destroyed, 
cause destruction in you. I want to encourage you this morning that God's not done with you. God is looking for you. He's looking for a broken person. He's looking for a broken and contrite heart that he can take, that he can redeem, that he can repair, that he can renew for his glory. Is that you? Call upon him in humility. Call upon him in faith and see what he will do. Thank you for joining us this week on this broadcast. It's been my pleasure to be with you. God bless you. You've been listening to Pastor John Bickle of Brantford, our featured speaker this week on Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.